We've got a couple panels lined up too. So we're going to have a cross section of some of the most talented graphical designers in great, worldwide great. studios. Let them tell this story. Yes. They know exactly what, we, yes. what they're talking about. The most talented graphical designers in great, worldwide great. studios. Great. Let them tell this story. Yes. They know exactly what, we, yes. what they're talking about. So let's talk a little bit more about PS. Uh, PS4 Pro, sure. uh, and in terms of, of, of how the, the Bioware team is kind of taking advantage of this, so what's the, the broad philosophy there? Like, how, how do you guys kind of break this down? Well, so we like anything with more with more horsepower. In it. Sure. It's, it's really nice to be in this industry where you can reliably count on new new uh, hardware. We look at exactly what, what uh, Mark Cerny spoke about it today. We look at the resolution, which allows things to be sharper, cleaner, um, you know, more detail in them. And then we look at HDR, which is um, just all that um, visual power to pop on the screen and just really make everything more intense, everything more real. And so for those two reasons, those two axes just make for an amazing experience. What does PS4 Pro mean to not only you and your team as developers, but also for a game like Horizon Zero Dawn? I mean, it's, it is a great thing for us. I mean, as a studio, we're all about new hardware and what we can do with that. But for this project specifically, it's about a very large open world, so having these massive draw distances and for us to be able to have these detail, just look at that foliage in the back, uh, to be able to project that, it's, it's fantastic to, to give that to the consumer. Uh, but also, this world is all about beauty, majestic beauty, and, and just look at the light in the sky, and if she turns around, you look at the shadows and you see all the detail, uh, it just takes the experience to me to the next level. So yeah. I'm really, really psyched up about it. Tell me a little bit about how your team is using the PS4 Pro and kind of what it means to that game. For us, what it means is extra power. And this extra power will allow us to display more details on the character, on the environment. For example, on this footage right now, <coughs> it's all the environment. You can see the reflection on the ground. It's much more detail. Uh, a little bit after, you'll see the foliage, the vegetations. So you, we can get more detail, and that's what you know, I was talking about, about the vegetations. You can see more details on the image, so that's where we're pushing the limit, and we're pushing the graphic power of uh, the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Watch Dogs 2, of course, is going to be leveraging some of that technology. I mean, what is that like for you guys as developers? I mean, what is what is the pro letting you do? Yeah, so, well, I mean, as a developer, it's always really exciting when you have uh, uh, more uh, GPU and hardware to work with mm. because it allows you to see the game and kind of render the game out and be more true to the vision that you have. Uh, I mean, when you're developing a game, you start off with very high-res assets, and then you kind of pack them into the game and you can sort of try to get it all to fit and fit in the frame rate and the memory and everything like that. And so when you see the game on the PS4, for a pro, uh, it's like so much closer to our vision. This, the details there it just kind of pops off the screen, and I don't know. It's just kind of it's so, so cool to see your work like look that shiny and spectacular. Tell me a little bit about um, how your team is leveraging this new hardware. Sure. So for us, looking at Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's one of those things like that as you know, it's a beautiful looking game. These guys, crazy talent. The studio has just been focused on it. Partner with IDOS Montreal, making you know the original version of it, and then we brought our Nixies partners on board and said hey, we've got this PlayStation version for the 20-year celebration, we want to pull that together, and be able to look at the PS4 Pro hardware and say, we, for the first time, can do something in 4K. And so for us, being able to say, look at what we can do, take all of these pixels and make these horizons go on forever. You can actually see this blobby mass of shadows now turn into the actual shape of a cross in the monastery that's actually on that hillside. Or you can actually yeah. see the scar on Lara's face when you actually have the camera close up and looking at her. So being able to do that type of stuff something we hadn't been able to do before, right? Something we hadn't seen on consoles this way. So it was great for us to be able to dive in and say we can bring it to the truest version of what we want to show. Uh, tell me a little bit about what the pro hardware not only means to you as a developer, but also kind of to specifically the project that you guys have been working well, on. Well, for Days Gone, it's, it's really exciting uh, working with the PS4 Pro. You know, it, uh, you know, idea, what, it, what it's really providing us now is a yeah. visual clarity that we haven't been able to there see we go. before. <laughs> it's just super astounding. Um, you know, so the, the, the details of the environment really pop now. You know, the character details, the color, the vibrancy of it. Um, it's just amazing. Mm. And, you know, when, when we first, uh, first got it up and running and put it out in front of the team, it was like, it was a game changer. I mean, it's, I, I think it's the overall power, the of, overall power. of the PlayStation 4 uh, Pro. Um, still getting used to the name, of course. Uh, it's it's everything. It's both the, the 4K capability as well as the HDR that together, I think, make, makes up this fantastic image. So for game content, the new console is targeted primarily at higher fidelity graphics and smoother frame rates. And these are great areas for us to focus on because they don't alter the fundamental gameplay. The, uh, the creator's vision is just represented in a richer fashion. 
But fundamentally, you know, what does something like PS4 Pro let you do that, that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise? We're making Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a, a game that, that it's trying to look like BBC nature documentary almost. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get close to that. And I like that. <laughs> and of course, like it's um, this allows to just get that one step closer. I mean, we're already doing really, really well on the, on the normal PS4, uh, but we know the extra fidelity we can get and the extra color range, um, showing like nature scenes where the sunlight is very important. Those are the things are uh, we can just like take a couple of extra steps. So I'm, I'm really excited, you know, with the PlayStation 4 Pro. You know, I mean, obviously the big, you know, one of the big benefits is is 4K, and we've heard a lot about that. And in, in, in our game, we're doing 4K. It looks so cool on a 75-inch <laughs> TV. Amazing. And and you know, you think about 4K and higher resolution is just eye candy. But really, we just started to notice seeing those enemies far away. Yeah. They had so much more detail. Like, oh, I can see what that is. That's one of these guys, and I need to shoot him now instead of this guy. <laughs> yeah. The so, faraways and the close-ups. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. The close-ups and like just seeing those details. Yeah. Yeah, when you see through. the monsters in your face, yep. and you just see, uh, uh, they, they're so much more scary when yeah, you see yep. that extra detail. So far we've seen that everything starts to look nicer, we're getting like more more beautiful vistas, the sun and the light and everything starts to you know, blend together better. Um, and I think also like, you know, ways to uh, use 4K uh, better, I mean, we started to add some details extra in the places, and you you could not see the effect as well on a 1080p TV. What excites me most is like seeing something that we've made and we had a vision for what we wanted to achieve, and then all of a sudden, like almost for free, you get something that's closer to what you wanted to achieve. It's <laughs> like you know, we already put in all the art and everything. And we just had, to, just had to do some coding, and then we get something and it looks much more like what we're trying to make. So it's, it's really exciting. Like it's, it's just a better version of your game. But I think for us, it's being able to deliver a more a deeper experience. Uh, a more beautiful experience so people when they come into our world the immersion will just reach a new level so for us it's great uh, we i think being immersed in that beautiful and fantastic world in this great world is something that that players will re really really like i'm i'm just really excited that we can show you know show our games uh, uh you know our game watchdogs and also uh, for honor we can show off how you know these games look and we can uh, you know and we're, we're we're able to offer players uh you know the, uh, the the good playstation core experience but we're able to offer this enhanced experience and uh, you know i'm just really excited to you know play games that you know can look that good what i love about it is that there will be kind of the ultimate offering for people that want to get want to go the extra mile and get you know, a, a great experience and then get an even better resolution at uh, you know get, get the smoothest possible frame rate but at the same time I want to ensure and say if you have a, a base model of PlayStation 4 and you've seen our game playable at E3 and people said it looked amazing I can tell you it's gonna look even better when it comes out so whether you get the baseline uh, model yeah. you get a Ryzen for baseline or you get it uh, for PlayStation 4 Pro you can have an amazing experience I